Hey gun people. Little Ruger 1022. Uh, got a little 10 round mags. Uh, they have 25 round mags. They have double. I know there's one not in the chamber because I don't keep one in the chamber, but I'll go ahead and pull it back and check it. Um, if you have a 1022, it comes with a little bitty straight thing, and I think this uh, this type of handle, it's a little upgrade, but you replace it. I think it's a lot better. Makes it easier for me to grab it and rack it. Uh, that little straight thing is a little bit small. So all I was going to do on this is uh, put a little oil on it because I haven't... Uh, I keep it by the front door. I already cleaned the silencer, so the silencer is already on it, but I'm going to clean the barrel because I haven't put a patch down the barrel in a long time. So I'm just going to get around here on different areas and make sure that because it sets right by the door, I'm not getting any, uh, got a little dirt there. Um, if I really wanted to clean it, I would pull it off of this. So I'm going to hold this back. And get on in here nice and clean. It's probably going to be pretty dirty in here. 22s tend to be pretty dirty. Um, it's not what I would call a clean shooting gun. So that's, that's pretty dirty. So again, if I really want to clean it, I'd like to pull the bolt apart, but I'm cleaning it more for, it's just sitting by the door, than The thing about 22s and silencers is most of your 22s shoot above um, supersonic speed over a thousand feet per second. So if you really want it quite, you got to get subsonic ammo. And when you get subsonic ammo in these semi-automatics, a lot of time they don't function. This doesn't function. It shoots, but I have to manually rack it if I'm shooting the um, the subsonic ammo. So I got some oil on that. That's pretty good. I'm just going to run a patch down the barrel. And uh, because that's something that I don't do a lot. And it's not like I shoot this thing all the time. But, you know, I've probably put... 30 or 40 rounds through it since, uh, hell, maybe more than that since the last time I've used this. So because it's got a nice little barrel, I don't want to neglect it. So I gotta make sure and hold this bolt back so it can pop out. And it popped out. And let's see what that looks like. Oh, not too bad at all. I might be able to get away with one swipe. I think I'm gonna be done. I thought it would be a lot dirtier than that. Since I just put oil in there, I'll maybe I'll run one more. Since the oil had the chance to uh, soak in. And nothing. So this is a uh, a no-brainer for a cleaning video. I'll probably put a little oil on a patch and just wipe down this barrel right here and call it a day. So uh, let's see if I can get a clean patch here. Even though this is stainless steel, it's still nice to uh, get a little coat of oil on it. 
I probably did it when I put that on there. But, since I have it here, and I got the video running. I'm not getting a whole bunch off there, so. Like I said, it's not setting outside. It's not like it's exposed to a lot. I think the housing is some sort of aluminum. I don't even know what that barrel says. You guys can read that barrel. What does it say on that barrel? You guys can read that or not. Somebody asked me, what kind of barrel is that? There it is. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I'll put the, the can back on. Silencers are commonly referred to as cans. That a little twist. And uh, put the mag back in it. A little 10 round mag. Oh, I forgot to pull the trigger. Now I could pull the trigger with the mag in there, but it's probably better just to pull it out. Check for sure. Far oh shit! I didn't mean to drop it. You don't want to drop the hammer on 22. So the way I usually drop it is I just hold this back a little bit as I fire it. And that way the flat, because the firing pin on a, um, on a, on a 1022 is like a screwdriver. And if you're constantly banging that with no round against something solid you'll either flatten it or it mashes it or you could break it or fracture it because this is what your firing pin looks like so you don't want to dry fire a 22 rim fire any rim fire because this is what the firing pin looks like it's not round and doesn't have strength it's a little bitty flat thing and all it does is basically puncture part of the uh, rim of the round if this was a 22 round it just punctures the outside of it like so and so since the the round is usually soft brass and that's what it's hitting when you shoot it with no round it bangs against the inside it's not good for the for the gun so don't do that did I already fire this I did so now I'll put this in here and then if I have to go outside or pick this up or grab it for something all I do is just pick it up and I grab it and I go and I know it's loaded it's ready to shoot all right so uh, we'll end that there. We're just uh, cleaning up to 1022 a little bit. This is a uh, flashlight with a little laser and uh, a scope. All right, 1022. I think that's a Boyd stock. Um, I don't even know what kind of silencer that is. And hopefully the light's okay. And that's what she looks like. All right, we'll end that there.